Welcome to our basic course, of Autodesk Robot, Structural Analysis Professional. Basic level, for concrete structures. We have for you, a course that will let you take control, over one of the most amazing structural analysis software, for reinforced concrete structures. Autodesk Robot, Structural Analysis Professional. However, Robot is more than concrete structures, in fact, you could analyze structures of steel, wood, and other materials. But in this particular course, we'll focus on reinforced concrete elements. Let me show you. Here we have a beam, which is made of basically, two parts. Let's remove the artificial thickness. And now we can see, that we have the beam number one, and the beam number two. Which are both supported, in a fixed manner. Let's see what this means. Here we have the supports of this element. As you can see, we have fixed, and pinned supports. That is, a type of support, that will allow us for a certain degree of freedom, or momentum in any of the three possible directions. But Robot, has also a series of supports, that as you can see, we can configure to determine their degree of freedom. If this support is elastic, and what is the elasticity coefficient? And also, if this support is a friction one. Or even, determine if this support will present a certain gap level. Additionally, we can determine if this is a non-linear support, as well as a damping for it. And many other types of supports, that we can place in our structure. Let's close now all these windows. Here we have already, all of our load cases. And something great, that Autodesk Robot allow us here, is that every time we specify our structure, and the corresponding section of each element, Autodesk Robot calculates by itself, the precise weight of each of those elements. So we don't have to calculate by ourselves the dead load of the proposed structure. Now, we have also, what could be the live load, this one we actually have to calculate. So let's remove first the artificial thickness. And we have specified a live load, or we can determine even, an accidental load, that is affecting the mid area of the first beam. And we have also a combination, in which all these loads, including the dead load, interact together, to show all the possible deformations that the proposed element, or this beam, might experience. Something we can see now, just in the next area. And right here in the result option, we can start looking, for instance, at the shear forces, the bending moments, and we can show those results, in this structure. Here we can even normalize the view, so we can appreciate all this, more easily. All the same, I can also ask for the deformations of this element, let's remove the graphs first. And we can now ask the software to show us all the deformations that this element might present when it gets subjected to a combination of all loads. Let's select all, and apply the change. And now we can see how our element behaves before such deformations. We can also, here, initiate an animation, so I could see more clearly, how this element is going to fare, against all the different efforts. Let's now stop this, and turn off the graph. Now. We can also have a whole graph of deformations, for instance, we can try here to demonstrate, all the possible results, and the corresponding values, good, in this moment, as you can tell, we are working with Autodesk Robot, using the metric system, however this course is going to develop, in both, the metric, and the imperial system, that is, pounds force, and feet and inches. Now, here we have something really interesting which are the reactions on the extremes. The reactions are of course, the ones who are going to tell us, which are the different forces affecting the supports, and I'm sure you know, when calculating the foundations, or running an analysis of it, this is probably one of the most important values to consider. Good, we have also some other values and parameters, for steel, for reinforcements. But of course, those are values that we'll see during the course of this tutorial. Let's move on, I have here this beam, and if I wanted to transform it into a reinforced concrete element, that is, once I'm satisfied, and I have realized all the corresponding analysis, changes and things that the graphs have showed to me, well, that's precisely part of our course. Let's now ask robot to calculate this element that we have here, 
and show us the corresponding results. Good, here we have now the calculated beam, and what Autodesk Robot proposed to us as what it can be already, the reinforcement steel armor. Here, we can also see the rods, and their corresponding diameters, that Autodesk Robot proposed us to use, in order to assemble our reinforced concrete element. Good, we can see now for instance, the view of the element, the spaces, the supports, and the sections that will be handled for this element. And as mentioned before, during this course, we will be working with both the metric, and the imperial system. Let's now continue, and have a look at something very interesting, the diagrams. Here we can see, over any of the sections along the beam, which is the bending moment, and if our beam is located between the safety graph, that's indicated by the limits of the red lines here. And here, in the bottom area, we have the graphic of what will be the shear force. This one, worth notice, is really close to the ULS limit. Now here, we have the same result, but in an analytic manner, in which we can observe, how the values are behaving, through the longitude of the proposed beam. Something also very interesting, is that here we have the calculation notes. And in this notes we are going to have all the values, and results, of our little exercise, including of course all the graphs that we can then print, to demonstrate, that both our analysis and design of our beam, are correct. And that it falls between the safety limits, and also between which values, those can be determined. Now, a very important thing, is that this design that robot has just proposed to us, can be accessed and modified at any point. We can change the hooks, add extra rods, and then ask robot to run a new calculation. So we can verify then, that we are working with a very well designed element, that presents efficiency, in terms of both economy and safety. Good, this is one of the elements, yes, however we have now something indeed amazing to show you. Autodesk Robot, can also create automatically all the blueprints for us. So what we have here, are all of the plans and views, ready to print. In this case presented in two sheets. The plan number one, and the second one, with a very well detailed view of all the reinforcement steel, very useful indeed. However these are just our preliminary exercises for this course, before we move on into a more advanced type of project, that surely, you will find more interesting. Here we have a building structure, and with this, we are now going to see, how all that we have learned in a separate manner, about beams, slabs and columns behavior, all that we have learned about them in previous exercises, we are going to apply it to this particular structure, and with that of course, verify our skill level, with robot. Now let's see, here we have a structure we have already propound, and this structure has also already a series of load cases and combinations that we have established, and that we can see here. So we can appreciate how all the forces are interacting with our structure. Of course, we could always go to the area of graphic results, and have a look at the diagrams. Here for instance, we can isolate one of the frames that we have here. And this frame, that we are going to separate. Let's increase the image a little, and let's now subject this element, to a series of analysis, in which we are going to work with some load combinations, so we can appreciate the corresponding deformations, and involved forces. Let's select all, and apply the changes. Let's now clean the graph, and we could also ask for the deformations. Let's select them all and apply the changes. And we can see now, those deformations. Of course, we can isolate yet some other elements. For instance, let's say that we are interested in the behavior, of this element. So, I want now that robot, calculate this element, demonstrate how this behaves, and design the corresponding reinforcement steel, for this same element. Therefore, I'll ask robot again, to run a new calculation, and also, to come up with the proposal for the assembly of this element. Good, here we have the view of our column, and here, we can also see that both the beams of the superior part, and the corresponding slab are being considered, 
along with the total length of the column. Well, here we can see the results of the column. And here we have a 3D graph of interaction, through which we can verify that this element, is indeed very well placed within the boundaries, of the safety limits. Actually, we have here the ULS adequate limits. And we can also verify, that everything is indeed, in a very reasonable safety coefficient. Good, here we have then, what robot propose us for the reinforcement steel of this column, including the diameters, of the recommended rods. And also, we have the calculation note, in which we can observe in detail, the results of each of the graphs, and the values that have been placed upon this element. Now, is always good to remember, that you can always access all the parameters, and make all the modifications that you consider to be necessary. Either adding reinforcement steel, or removing rods, changing diameters, add hooks, and again, ask robot to run yet again another calculation, showing the results within the graphs, allowing us to verify if we haven't exceeded the safety coefficients that are recommended for the ULS. Good, let's go back to our model, but wait. We can also ask robot to show us the proposal of the layouts, so we can immediately, along with the report or note, justify the analysis that has been made for the design of this column. Let's go back then to our model. Now, I would like to say that through this course, we will show you not only, how to perform the analysis of two direction slabs, but also the one corresponding, to reinforced concrete walls that might be affected by lateral loads, a type of element, that is also known as containment walls. Good. This is then, the type of subjects that we cover in our course of Autodesk Robot, Structural Analysis Professional. But also, a very important thing that I want to mention, and you to really remember, is that through this course, you'll have access to a group of professionals, that will assist you at any moment that you need support or have questions, about dealing with robot, and the task that is, structural analysis. Whether you need assistance using any particular tool, or dealing with a real-life structural analysis, you can always count on us, to help you out. Good, we hope to see you again very soon in our course of Autodesk Robot, Structural Analysis Professional. Then like all of our tutorials, you will have always available in your computer, watch as many times as you want, whenever you want, and with the help of our experts, through the support center. Goodbye.